All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, Part 177. 177. I almost got the number wrong there. And we're about to go to the Redguard Valley Cave because of some heirloom left behind by the twins' dad. So, very interesting on that. <coughs> Let's go ahead and make it happen. This is going to be kind of a long run. And uh, to be honest, yeah, I'm not sure uh, what we're going to do to be able to make this a little more interesting. <laughs> Other than just jumping and taking oh. fall damage for acrobatics. I don't know. Ha! But yeah, we don't have to spam oh. spells anymore. So we have less to get done on these on these long runs here. And so perhaps, ah. whoops. And so perhaps I will stop I will start starting my recordings later so that you guys don't have to um watch these travel sections so much. I don't know why it's taking me so, it's, it's so hard for me to piece my thoughts together at the moment. But, uh, yeah, this is a surprise side quest that I absolutely did not see coming. So that's going to slow us down a little bit. But I'm thinking we'll still probably get to Sanker Tor today and be able to start a bit of the story. Um, as for our skills, we did Master Blunt last time, which is huge. Acrobatics is on its way. Security is on its way. And honestly, once we get Acrobatics and Security, that might be a level up. To 43. Uh, we are a stage 2 vampire right now, though. I think Acrobatics is actually 79, and this is 66. I think stage 2 vampire is kind of skewing our numbers right now. I don't know. Not 100% sure, but... Is that Hector? No, that's the weird... Middle of the forest group of people. Oh. Ah, uh, this is the cave. Okay, let me familiarize myself with what we're using again. What weapon are we using? Uh, Dagger of Winter with 33 uses? Okay. Arrived at the entrance to Redguard Valley Cave, I should proceed inside. Very well. Let's get right on that. And we know these goblins typically drop a lot of potions. If there's one downside to daggers, it's their reach. That one didn't. We got another one right here. Just trying to use up the charges on these lesser daggers while we can. Wipe her out. Uh, and we should probably trap a soul, shouldn't we? I don't know if we have an Azura Star soul right now, but it's probably for the best that we do that. Uh, that greater soul gem doesn't, but they're not going to have a greater soul. It doesn't help. Petty, Petty, and this Grand can go into Helltaker, yeah. And there you have it. Does that restore agility? Fortify agility, okay. Okay, Redguard Valley Cave, which had goblins in it. We were expecting ogres, but I guess we're dealing with goblins. Or we're dealing with ogres, and there were just goblins outside? That's not weird. <laughs> it's a little weird. Okay, we should have a bunch of silver arrows. Yeah, there we go. Let's get to it. I know ogres got a lot of health, so it should be a good training here. How can they see us? Really? Okay, I guess we were in a lighter area. And these are not standard ogres. These are a lot lighter than most ogres. Four shots with a bow? I don't care about the sneak attack. That's not how long this should be taking. Ogres are usually a lot tougher than that. Here we go. Good marksman training in here, though. So we've got that going for us. Ogre's teeth. Intelligence, resist paralysis, shock damage, fortify. Nah. We don't need all that. Take our arrows back, though. I saw that there was a path down there. I just want to see... Oh, my goodness. Everything first. Crumpled. And dead. Another ogre right there. Nice big targets to aim for. And to still miss. Very impressive. I'm much better at the Skyrim gravity. I'm not very good at the Oblivion gravity, gravity, clearly. 
It's like too slow for me. Like even the way bodies fall is really weird. And I end up missing a lot of shots, but I've had 177 parts to get used to it and I've still failed to do that. So that's on me at that point. Don't let me try to put it on the game as it like being the game's fault. 100% my fault. <laughs> That I'm not accustomed to the game's gravity yet after 177 parts. Well over 100 hours played. Crumpled again. Oh, there's one over there, I think. Uh, yeah, there's one right there. That we somehow haven't seen. He's looking for us, too. You better stop right there. And Ogre dead. Yeah, these guys are much lighter than typical ogres. Four shots should not be enough to kill them if they were standard ogres. So I guess red, red card valley ogre cave boss. Yeah, I don't think so. Cave boss. I guess, yeah, they're just special ogres leveled to us, except for they're leveled less than normal ogres, oddly enough. That's some heavy breathing, dude. Do some cardio. We're in a really light area, so I'm glad he's not turning around. Okay, I think this is the tunnel that connects where we came from. Yeah, it does. There was a way that way we didn't do... Oh, no, it's this right here. Well, that was convenient how that wrapped around. We're here for that. Yeah, we're back in here again. Okay, got it. Should be right down here. We've got one ogre left. Uh, yeah. Okay. This one's tougher. This one actually has some decent, some actually decent HP, but he keeps getting knocked over by us. Uh, poor bastard's never gonna get to us to fight us, is he? <laughs> Marksman at its finest, right here. Let's go ahead and take the soul. So we can recharge our bow. Okay. Oh! Ogre Chieftain. The Honor Blade of Coral. Flawless Diamond, 3 Gold. Okay. I retrieved the Honor Blade of Coral from the Ogre Chieftain. This has to be the item Fath Fathis was seeking. However, due to the nature of the item, I think someone at Castle Coral would be anxious to have this back. You need to decide whether to sell the weapon to Fathis or return it to the castle. Oh, I bet the castle could pay us better than Fathis can. Hell yeah. The surprise turn-in is always the better turn-in I've found in video games. I don't know if it's going to be true this time, but typically, that's the better way to go about this. And Xander likes having a whole city grateful to him more than just some random Fathis guy. And... If, it's, if we're selling it to Fathis for a thousand gold or whatever set he said he was willing to pay for it, two thousand, whatever, we don't need that kind of money. We've got 250k right now. That's just not enough. That's not worth our time, alright? So, yeah, I think we're just going to go and give it to the castle and see what they can give us for it. If anything, if it's just for good points, good boy points, brownie points, then I'll be pretty disappointed. I won't lie, but... That? I think that's hack dirt. Yeah, with the messed up houses? That's hack dirt. Okay. Been a while since we've seen that. But yeah, if it's just for brownie points, I'll be disappointed, but... Worst case scenario, we miss out on a couple thousand gold, right? And gold isn't exactly the end-all be-all for us anymore. We're kind of stacked. We've bought every house. We've dished... We've completely set them up, basically. Except for the Dwemer Forge at Battlehorn Castle. Which explains why that quest hasn't been done. It's because we haven't bought the Dwemer Forge yet. That was optional the second time we go back to the castle. So let's go back. We can't turn it in. It's too late. Oh no. We have to go to sleep. Then try to turn it in. In the morning. Because there's no way the count's going to be there at 9.30 in the afternoon. Let's try out sleeping in our new home. We haven't done it yet. We're not going to do it very often since Battlehorn Castle is right nearby. But we can sleep in it once. Why not? Why to the not? Hmm. Hero of Pale Pass ended up being the first guy. Interesting. 
Uh, that's Francois, Francois Motier's house. That's not right. How much sleep do we need? I actually don't remember. Are we behind? Are we good on sleep or what? Oh, we're, we only need two hours. Well, that's probably actually not good. Maybe we can turn it into someone who's not the Countess? I don't know. It's gonna be midnight, though. Not exactly advantageous for us turning in a quest at a castle. But we'll give it a shot, I guess. And if it doesn't work, we'll just have to turn it in another day. What is this? Why am I going this way? Was this just the fastest way? And it was like, yeah, it's illegal, but you know, it's fast. <coughs> really? Oh my god, it actually was. We can turn it into Lath Wabrick. Hello. I'm Laith Wavrik, the Chief Wavrik. Herald and Countess Velga's attendant. Welcome to Coral. Countess Volga. The Countess is in attendance from 8 in the morning until 6 in the evening. If you wish to see Gauntlet with her, please return at these times. You're also welcome to wait in the seating area near the entrance. Good day. Yes, good day. Rumors. I heard the Fighters Guild got the Fallen Rock contract, but the guy is just sitting around drinking beer. <laughs> I can't wait to find out what that's all about. Please, He already likes on. a stolen item. Many years ago, when the Count was still alive, a daring thief stole the ancient honor blade of coral from out of this castle. Why? I have it. This is incredible. <clears throat> I never thought to see this sword again. How did you... Never mind. One should not look a gift horse in the mouth. You're welcome, Please and I get my thanks on behalf of the people of Coral uh -huh. for restoring this sword and the honor of our city. Right, but as a token of our gratitude, there we go. I bestow upon you a symbol of honor and heroism, the escutcheon of Coral. The escutcheon. You've done a great service to Coral, and you should be proud. The hell is an es what the hell is an escutcheon? It's like a shield to me. Like an... Barely... The hell is an <laughs> What is an escutcheon? I've never heard of an escutcheon in my life. The escutcheon of... Wow, that's expensive. Whoa! Wow! Fortify endurance 10, reflect damage 35? Spellbreakers reflect spell 30. So now we have... Oh, and they're almost worth the same. Spellbreakers reflect spell 30. And the escutcheon. What the hell? I still don't know what an escutcheon is, but... Looks like a normal ebony shield, I think. Reflect damage 35? And give 10 endurance, so a little more health too, probably? That's crazy. And actually better than Spellbreaker. I can't believe it. I thought for sure we would probably be using Spellbreaker. Not for sure, but I thought we'd probably be using Spellbreaker the rest of the game. We'd probably still hold on to it. Because it's really good against magic dealers. But more often than not, you run into physical threats. And reflecting damage 35%. And we get 20 more max HP, it looks like. That is insane. We have a new item. How often do we get to equip new equipment? Whoa. I Even if the guy paid us 10,000 gold, that's not worth nearly mu enough. That's wild. That is wild. Blood of the Divines. I need to go to Sankertor, find the Shrine of Tiber Septum. That's what we were here doing originally, going to Sankertor. And now we can do it with a brand new shield that's way too good. Way too good. I can't believe that. That's so good. What a random quest to give us such an amazing item. What is our reflect damage now? Oh yeah, we should probably feast on somebody too. 57 between the Blade Turn Hood, the Ring of Namira, and the Escutcheon of Coral. I need to Google what an Escutcheon is. Unless it's just a fancy word for shields, because I know round shields, I know kite shields, I know tower shields, I know round shields, I know square shields. 
Square shield is just a small tower shield. I've never heard of an Escutcheon in my life. Ring of the Mirror is also giving 10 Reflect Spell, 20 Spell Absorption. We're definitely weaker to magic now, but 57% of physical attacks reflect is too good to ignore. That is so good. That guy's going to be really upset. Oh well. He'll deal. Let's go feed on the woman we let down by letting her daughter die. That's messed up. Is she not here? Wait, she doesn't sleep here? I was gonna say, store owners all always sleep in their in their stores. I was about to be so confused. There we are. Wow, she does not have a spacious living quarter, does she? She just makes do. To a certain degree, I respect that. But uh, a little depressing also. Okay, let's feed on her. Thank you, Sidneus. You've always been a very good person. If there's anything to attest for... Okay. If there's, <laughs> if there's any, ever been anything to attest for Argonians being just as human as the rest of us, is it works for vampirism all the same. Athletic skill increased. Good. Anytime now. Anytime now. Alright, Sanker Tor. And athletic acrobatics increased. You should rest and meditate on what you've learned. Well, it's going to be a while till we pull that one off, but very well. The next time we sleep, level 43, I believe, is waiting for us. Right, 43? 43. Whew. Look how far... We're getting a lot of stuff done today. Getting accomplished out here. Yeah, now I'm actually picking up alchemy ingredients because we're not just spamming spells. It gives me something to do on the way. <laughs> something to do and we do need to raise our alchemy alchemy is one of those few things that uh I think we're barely at expert correct yeah we just reached expert recently nothing of use there's just so much wildlife hopefully viper's bug loss leaves are good because we're getting a lot Hopefully they're very usable for our purposes. So Sankrator is the main story. When's the last time Xander did anything for the main story? Not for a bit, be other unless you count getting allies for Bruma, because, you know, Xander's more worried about the punk his power-hungry nature than anything else. Oh, it's out of charge. Okay, then. On to the next dagger. Dagger of the Blaze. Ugh. I just want your soul, otherwise I wouldn't be bothering. Thank you. Greater and grand. Perfect. Now I have a greater for when the axe dies, and we have a grand for right now. Uh, we have a dagger. We have one for later. We don't need to s grab souls for the moment. Let's just keep a move on. Thought I saw an imp out of my cor out of the corner of my eye. Guess I was wrong. It is day one seventeen. Day one eighteen for Xander. It's day one seventeen for Xander. Another bear. We're just gonna let that one go. Oh. Not gonna bother with it. Uh oh gonna be one of these hills, is it? Let us over! Sanker Tor, we need to get there. Imperial City in the distance. I still think it's really cool every time we see that. Kinda come a long way from Coral already. We got some pretty decent speed behind us. We do kinda book it, don't we? Damn, okay. To run at that speed non-stop and never get tired? I'll find that impressive, Xander. That mu that's gotta be Sanker Tor. We're there. Yeah. Yeah, it's moving on the compass. This is it. Thank you. Some mountain lion after us? What? Really? What? Oh, we didn't switch Dagger of the Blaze to the one key, I don't think. Nope. That was our problem. Ebony shield, ebony dagger. 
Spiral Mountains. Okay. I remember this. There was, like, undead everywhere. Going this way. Bunch of skeletons out here. I remember that. There's one over there. We've already done this, though, you know? Let's just get in there and get started. Oh, my goodness. A lich. Like an actual full-on lich just out in the overworld. Who'd have thought? Not me. He's reflecting damage sometimes. Oh, yeah. Actually, give us that. Thank you. If you'd be oh so kind. We're probably going to deal with a lot of undead in here. So let's not even bother with... Oh, Skeleton Champion, Skeleton Guardian. Where's the Skeleton Champion? Here he is. Not enough charge, but enough to finish this fight. Ooh, wait. Two Silver Arrows. We do want those. Okay, chest right here. Cure disease, sure. We'll take it for the money. Let's go. Alright. Let's start using Helltaker, I think. Everything else is out of charges. Other than War Axe Dynamo, yeah. Alright, Helltaker. Let's do this. Absorb 25 health. Completely and utterly overpowered. And it's what I'm here for. I found the entrance to the Catacombs of Sankar Tor. Last time we were here, we needed a key we didn't have. I should search them for the Shrine of Tiber Septum. 21st of... The 21st of Evening Star. Third Era, 433. Okay. Let's get in here and do this. Gloom Wraith off the rip. Should be able to sneak attack it from here for a bit, but apparently not. Because it slid on down. You see nothing. Shush. Quiet, you. You don't see anything. Well, it's a good marksman experience. Oh, there it goes. Now it actually doesn't see anything. Right when I had given up on sneaking is when it happens. It's funny how things like that work. And that's it for that. Yeah, it's probably going to be just a bunch of undead. Because it was like pilgrims. They The way they explained it was that pilgrims were here for a while. That's a normal one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, there were pilgrims used to be here. Blades go increase, nice. <clears throat> and then they had to stop because nobody was surviving the journey. I mean, which is a good reason to stop. Okay, we're not sneaking up very well. That's fine. We're gonna take this one sold because Helltaker is getting a lot of uses spent. Oh, these guys are just so tanky. The enemies are so tanky nowadays. There we go. And I'd prefer to use the bow. Oh, there it is. Why did I hear the music like something sees us? But I'm fairly certain nothing does. Uh, oh, never mind. Let's kill the Wraith first. He's basically dead. Yeah. Now the Gloom Wraith takes some hits. And we'll have to trap its soul again. Wow, they actually launch you too. Okay then. So not only are we absorbing health 25 points right now, each swing, but we're doing an extra 25. We're reflecting damage back at them over half the time. I totally forgot we were close on this. The secret energies of the human body have not surrendered their mysteries easily to you. You are now a master of restoration and can cast master level restoration spells. Hell yes. We did it. Awesome. 
One more skill mastered. How many is that now? Ten mastered skills. One more and we are over half of our skills officially mastered. We've come quite far. That's a new looking enemy. Again, I don't know who sees us. More sneak attack damage, okay. I don't think we can stay hidden forever here, but... But maybe we can. Whatever this thing is, is not seeing us very well. It's like a blade skeleton, basically. But he's got like that blue glow to him that's making it a little extra for me. We haven't seen a skeleton with a glow like that. There it is. Conquered. Ghost of Realis. You have freed me. Now, I can finally complete my lord's last request. Okay. Something is not giving up on us. <laughs> Who are you? I was Realis, loyal blade of Emperor Tiberset. It feels like an eternity. Okay, and what happened to you? My three companions and I were sent here by the Emperor Tiber Septim to discover what evil had defiled the holy catacombs of Sankertor. We did not know that the Underking who was here an artist had risen to take his first revenge upon his former lord. The Underking sounds kind of cool. The Underking defeated and ensnared us in his evil enchantment and bound us here to guard forever the defiled shrine of Tiber Sept. Is he still here? No. No. Oh. He departed long ago. But his evil will remain, preventing any from paying homage at the shrine of Tiber Septim. Over the uncounted years of our slavery here, we have brooded over our defeat. I believe I go now to complete my duty to my lord, Tiber Septim. Free my brothers, and together we may be able to lift the Under King's curse. He talks so slowly. Farewell. Farewell. Okay, so we're freeing his brothers. This was him then? Amulet of the Anse. Four or five block, ten points, sure. Thanks for the amulet. Okay. Potion of healing, we always take those. And another hard chest. We're getting close to 100 security. Very close. We just don't get to do security very often anymore. But I'm confident we'll get there. It'll either happen during Shivering Isles, the DLC, if it... You know, it must, but... <clears throat> I also feel somewhat confident it'll just happen before that. We'll find out. We got a wraith down here. That doesn't seem to mind that we're sniping it. We're down for that. Nice miss. Realist, don't get in line of my shot. Definitely would have hit him there. Alright, what is all this? Okay, this is clearly the way forward. Tomb of the Riemann Emperors. 
should be more. Oh, there should be more doors though. The chest. Eh. <clears throat> the quest markers are going over here, so it's like we're getting our, we're getting his brothers, right? That's what we were doing. Rude. Okay, I don't know. I haven't actually checked if we can fall off over there or not, so let's not risk that. These guys take too many hits. So many hits. Uh, it, it looks like it is water, so at least we would survive if he had, like, knocked us off into that area. Still probably not very convenient if it did happen. Okay, what do we got here? The Hall of Judgment. Okay, a standard wraith. We can three or four shot those, I think. Looks like four. Five? Well, we're not getting sneak attacks, definitely more. Other way had some wraiths too. This area is very well lit all the time though. Okay, more standard liches and a gloom and a gloom wraith in the back. Or wraith, sorry, standard wraith and a gloom wraith in the back. Nice miss. It's out of charge, isn't it? These gloom wraiths just take so many hits that everything runs out of charge before we can kill them. We might have to use Varla stones in here. Ha! Oh, that was a cool attack. The way he like shoved the hilt forward almost. Okay, standard wraith. Looks like it's a five shot. Just kidding. We can trap that thing's soul, no problem. This one too, if we weaken it right. Then we can use their souls for good charges. Thank you. Much appreciated. A greater soul. We'll take that for sure. <laughs> I kept seeing us and unseeing us. Okay, there's another blade down there. Very good. That's where we're headed then. that to himself by reflect or something? Willpower's been damaged. Why do you always gotta be damaging my stats, guys? It can't just be a drain or something. It's always gotta be a damage. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a new one. Don't need more repair hammers, but we should probably be using some. Or using one. Can't repair enemies, uh, items when enemies are nearby, okay. Where is this wraith I'm hearing? Oh, it's still just breathing even though it's dead, gotcha. Also weird that they breathe at all, but okay. Actually raises a couple questions I didn't know I had until I thought about that a little deeper. <laughs> Alright, let's deal with him just like we dealt with his friend. No honorable combat for us, we are Xander Stormborn. And honorable is not in our dictionary. Even if the gods seem to think so with our Knights of the Divine, whatever, quest we currently have. I don't want to trap his soul, because that sounds like it could cause problems. 
when we're working with their ghosts. I don't think that would matter, but, you know, just in case. That looked like it could have been a trap area. Destroyed the second of the cursed blades guarding the Sanctor guarding Sanctor Tor, freeing his spirit to help his companions lift the Under King's enchantment from the Shrine of Tiber Septum. Just continue to search for the other two undead blades. Have you seen Elaine? Or Valdemar? No. Realis fell in the lower chamber. We were separated. The fog blinded us. We found Realis. Which I thought was realist, but no. okay. That was the dream. I am awake now. I must fulfill my oath to the Emperor before I can finally rest. The exact same voice as Boris. Must be your descendant or something. Another hard chest, alright. This episode is getting long. Perhaps we will, uh... Call it once we're ready to go to the Riemann Emperor's tome, whatever, tomb, whatever, um, and just try to get all the skeletons set up before then. Because yeah, it's already, yeah, it's already at the point getting close to stopping a recording. But oh, yeah, that's right. We we never dealt with this, did we? Okay. We never used repair hammer either. Yeah, we're really smart. Come on now. Get him. Light armor skill increased. Good. Very good. I'll take her. Does this lead to anything we haven't seen yet? Gold? Oh! Where did this go? The catacombs. Interesting. Interesting. Let's repair hammer up. Can't repair when enemies are nearby. What enemies are you talking about? Oh, wow. There's just another blade right there, ready to go. You look at that. And like I said, we shouldn't. I'm not gonna soul trap him in case that matters. Ooh, nice bash there. Nice recoils. Got him. That's three. Not taking too long at all here. Destroyed the third of the Cursed Blades guarding Sanger Tor. I need to find and destroy the last of the Cursed Blades so that his freed spirit can help the ghosts of his companions dispel the evil chamber blocking block the way to the Shrine of Tiber Septim. Correct. Stand Elaine. aside in the name of Tiber Septim and the Blades. Hinder me at your peril. What an understanding guy. Maybe when we load a save, the, uh... Game thinking that enemies are nearby will go away, because I think that's a bug happening right now. I don't think this is actually accurate. Seventy-two gold. Oh, yeah, that's worth selling. Not enough charge already, huh? That's a problem. Whatever, we'll just roll it for a little bit. Yes, I know it doesn't have enough charge, I'm aware. But I don't want to waste the charge of the War Acid Dynamo, and at least it's good blade experience or something. I'm just trying to switch weapons, but I keep getting staggered instead. Thank you for your soul. Whew. A lot of health to burn through here. Helltaker, incredible while it has charges. And we could always use a Varla Stone if we needed to. But, uh, we're very charge-hungry lately. Another Gloom Wraith. They're kind of everywhere. And I, like I said, I think some of the enemies are continuing to scale with us, so... Even though we're not really getting that much stronger, the enemies are continuing to get stronger because we're level 42 or whatever. Which is a shame. 
that that's how that works, but not the end of the world, I guess. Thank you for the soul. Another gloom ray. They're everywhere. At least we never have to heal after these fights with Hellbaker because we're always full health after using it. Because it just absorbs so much health. Charge Helltaker again. Oh! And also we need to charge the bo the War Axe again. I saw that. Okay. Oh, we're down to one arrow, too. Oops. Busted. I was going to see if we could get it. We failed. Thank you. Helltaker finally at full charge again. Nah, we'll basically full charge the bow instead. So we have one silver arrow left, but we do have, like, glass arrows and stuff. Not many, but, okay, do tor two dwarven, we'll use that. Okay, then five elven. We're still not going to be able to do much more archery, but it'll be something. Okay, and then glass. We'll shoot one glass arrow, and then we'll get down there and steal its soul. Thank you. And once those 17 glass arrows are up, we're just done with the bow for a bit, unfortunately. Nice. I like that we have enough that we don't need to immediately use the soul right away. Strong and weak potions of healing, okay. Yeah, we're good, okay. Oh wow, damage though, oh my goodness. That's a little crazy. Elven short sword. Okay, back to the entry hall. Okay, so the catacombs was down there. And that's how we got to that. This was the... Yeah, that was the hall of judgment. Alright, then the last one we have to go in is... That's where we came in. The prison. And then we'll be ready to start the episode next time, ready to enter the Remans Emperor Chambers. I feel like that's a really good cliffhanger point. Oh, he's on this side of the gate. Whoops. Oh, we haven't used his this soul yet. Ah, whatever. Fourteen arrows left. I'm still confused what's seeing us all these times. Again, I think that's bugged a little bit. Because we can't even use our repair hammers because something somewhere is seeing us. And I think loading a save is going to fix all that. Six arrows. Five arrows. Oh, here he is. Oh, no, that's a normal skeleton. Sorry. Oh, that's Warden Kostov. Just kidding again, actually. Who is Warden Kostov? Take a soul. Oh. Oh, sorry if you can hear those dogs. Warden Kostov's key. Strong and weak potion of healing. Oh, it was hard. We could have done it ourselves. That's a shame. We keep going, huh? Oop, Gloom Wraith right there. Doesn't really see us. Let's use our last five arrows on this guy and then... That's it for the bow for a bit. 
Oh, I was just about to say we never even raised our marksman. Looks like we got it right at the end. Up to 86. That is getting tough. We're going to need thousands of arrows to get that to 100 without using training as a crutch. Which we may or may not do. I do like training. That went really well last time. Um, Grand Soul Helltaker. There it is. Good amount, too. Gold necklace, 77 gold. Just need Helltaker now. No arrows left to use. 62. Dead end. Oh boy, yep. We're gonna need charges for sure here. Look at the damage. We're absorbing 25 health with every swing at this speed, and they still have that much health. That's crazy to me. That's actually crazy to me. Whoops, I took a weapon on accident. You can have that one back. Ebony something, I'm gonna guess. No? Glass longsword, gotcha. Okay, somewhere to sleep if we needed it, but we definitely don't. We're well slept, and it's 11 in the morning. It's almost noon. Okay, no. Yeah, we're good. The last blade should be in here. Oh, got him. Oh, that's right. This is a prison, isn't it? Yo, these cells suck. <laughs> imagine being a prisoner here. No, man. Oh, imagine being a prisoner in there. No, dude. That would be so bad. Cruel and unusual punishment for sure. Wow, wow, wow. Being a prisoner here would really suck. 68 gold. So close. So our blade is at 86, or our marksman's at 86, with blades at 72. So we're almost expert with the blade. Not even expert yet. Oh, there he is. He's saw us. He's got like a gold shimmer to him. I'm hoping that's gonna be a cool effect. Oh. Something he has on him, I'm hoping. Oh. Come on then, nice. I don't have charge, well, I'm not willing to soul trap him, so. We'll take this. Oof, nice launch. <laughs> Fair enough. The health, though. It's a lot of spanks to knock these guys down. Valdemar's shield. Okay. All the cursed blades of Sankrator have been destroyed. Their freed spirits have gone to the shrine of Tiber Septum to try to dispel the enchantment laid upon it by the Underking long ago. You should go to the shrine at once to see if they succeed in their final quest. Valdemar. I know you. You freed me. Free my brothers if they are still enslaved. Together we will cleanse the shrine of the Underking's foul magic. Yeah, I figured he had something special when he was glowing gold like that. What does Valdemar's shield do? Probably no way it compares to our current shields, but I'm curious. Reflect damage 9. Not even close. We have endurance 10, reflect damage 30. 35 even? Grand Ring Restoration, okay. Resist fire, resist frost, mace etiquette. 746 gold. Wow. Alright, we're kind of cruising through the main story quest, but I'm not surprised. We are so overleveled for almost anything in this game. But then again, maybe not, because it seems like things are leveling up alongside us. Have some crazy stats on them. Does it go this way out? Oh, he's gonna walk through the dead end. Cheater! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the shrine and get ready to go. Um... If something happens, I'll make sure I try to record it, but otherwise I'm just going to be standing in the room ready to enter what should be the final room of Sankator, I would think. 
either way, thank you. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll pick up from there next time. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining Xander and I on this journey. And we will see you next time.